Hello my angels, it is me Karishma aka The Transformational Butterfly. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I'm so glad that you've been able to come and join me because we are going to be talking about angel number 555. If you're exposed to any repeating numbers, you are being supported and guided to follow your most aligned path. How exciting is that? So it's a great sign that you've been seeing this angel number. And I'm so excited to dive into it as well. But before I do, I just wanna let you guys know that I have an angel number workbook and guide that you can check out. It can help you to decode your angel numbers that you've been seeing and to help you make sense of it more along your journey. So I'll leave the link in the description box below if you are interested. Now let's get straight into the video. So what is angel number or 555 all about? This angel number is representing the change. So the way I like to view it is in two parts. So when we're talking about change, we're talking about two types of changes. We're talking about internal change and external change. Now, what I mean by internal change or internal shifts is anything to do with the self, anything to do with you turning inwards and working on yourself, anything that is to do with you and the relationship with yourself. So internal changes might be changing your habits, your behavior patterns, looking at any unhealthy thought patterns and feelings that you've been holding on to that don't serve you, perhaps um, really identifying your repressed emotions, your wounds, your fears, your limiting beliefs, your internal um, wounds, your trauma, practicing self-compassion, changing any of those destructive thought patterns and beliefs you're holding on to, and perhaps it might be also having more self-love for yourself, standing up for yourself more, setting more boundaries, having more compassion and kindness towards yourself. So it's a lot to do with doing the internal work on yourself and making those internal shifts within. So if you are already on that journey, if you're already doing the internal work on yourself, the angels want you to, to, to just show appreciation for that and it's kind of like a reminder to continue on down this path as you're doing the work. But if you're someone that's been pretty hesitant towards doing the internal work on yourself, then this might be your sign to start exploring that. It's never too late and I think we're all on different journeys. So it's just a reminder to continue kind of focusing on doing the internal work because what's going on in here reflects our outer world. So if you feel like there is just so much that you need to really change and shift within, now is the time to do that. Now is the time to really start healing from things, to start changing things, to start becoming a better version of yourself, a more authentic version of you that you know you can be. So yeah, it's all about change, internal change. Now, the second part of this change that I'm talking about is external change or having external shifts come into your life. So what do I mean by external change? These are things outside of you that can change. So it might be um, you experiencing leaving a job, perhaps starting a job, maybe um, you know a long-term relationship that you've had with your partner has ended. It might be moving abroad, buying a house, having a baby. Any change that is happening in your life or any change that you need to make is for your highest good. <laughs> now, the problem here is that sometimes we can resist change. And this is because the ego does not like change. It does not like anything that's new, unfamiliar, anything that feels very foreign because the mind has been designed to protect us. It wants to be in control. It wants to know the outcome of things. It wants to be doing things in routine all the time. And so this is why a lot of people, when they are exposed to new things happening, whether it's buying a house, moving abroad, having a baby, um, leaving their job, leaving that relationship, um, it can feel really scary because it's new, it's unfamiliar, it's something that 
they haven't done before and even internal changes as well. Whenever we're looking at our wounds, our destructive thought patterns, our fears, that can be scary because we're exposing ourselves to new truths that the ego doesn't want us to see. But this is all necessary for us to move away from the ego and to allow ourselves to rest more in our higher self and to be comfortable with change, to be comfortable with truth, to be comfortable with anything that is coming up to the surface for us. Um, and I always say as well, you know, any changes that are happening in your life or are going to happen is for your highest good. So angel number 555 is all about embracing these changes because they're going to help you to become more of an aligned version of yourself. We might not be able to see the bigger picture, but that's really the, the universe's job to help us in that. All we have to do is tune into the present moment, tune into our intuition in this very moment and follow what feels right to us. I know it's easier said than done. And that's why, you know, having grounding techniques like meditation, mindfulness, these things can help us to connect with our higher self and to trust in the process, to trust in the changes that are unfolding. Now, like I was saying before, naturally as humans, we can be very resistant to change because it's very unfamiliar and new to the ego and the ego does not like change and change can make the ego feel very uncomfortable. It can make it feel uncomfortable and it can often make the ego feel really scared and fearful because it's lost control. So it's just reminding yourself that you know, whenever we are entering the unknown, of course we don't have any control, right? But it's reminding ourselves to trust, to trust ourselves, to trust the universe, to trust the angels, to trust that we are capable of handling this unknown, this change. And if we think about it, everything around us changes. If we take a look at nature, nothing in nature stays the same. Everything dies before it has to take a rebirth, right? So it's the same with us humans. We, the more we resist change, the more we're delaying our growth. And it's the same with nature, right? A leaf doesn't resist falling on the ground. It just naturally falls on the ground because it knows its purpose and it knows it's time to fall on the ground before a new leaf can spring up to the surface. So it's the same with us humans. It's about embracing the natural rhythms of the universe. It's important to adapt to these changes, to adapt to any adversity we might be facing as well. So adaptability is a really key skill or quality that we can take on as we're seeing angel number 555. So another reason we're seeing angel number 555 is freedom. Freedom is calling. So when we're looking at the energy of five, it's really about change, exploration, um, variety, having a desire for variety and dancing in the unpredictability of life. <laughs> Again, it's really about change and exploring and being comfortable with stepping into like different boxes. And so deep down, when you're working with this energy, deep down, we, we all want freedom in some ways. Freedom can look different to everyone. So think about what freedom means to you. Think about what does freedom mean to me? Do I want freedom? What kind of freedom do I want? And you know, when I think of a life that feels freeing, what am I picturing? What am I visualizing? Those are great questions to ask yourself because deep down when this angel number appears, you, deep down somehow you are wanting freedom but you cannot access it at the moment because there are, perhaps is a resistance to change or perhaps change needs to be made in order for that freedom to come. Remind yourself that freedom is your birthright and each and every individual deserves freedom. So it might be the case where you feel like you're holding yourself back from a lot of things, from your heart's desires, what you really want, the person you wanna become. Maybe you're holding yourself back from having fun, um, more adventure, more freedom in your life in some ways. That's something for you to explore. What is it that you're holding yourself back from when it comes to feeling really free in your life? Have you been doing 
the same old things? Have you been feeling stagnant in any areas of your life? Have you been feeling lost and confused? What are the areas that you're feeling really stagnant in? What are the areas that you just wanna break free and feel freedom? So this might be your sign that it might be important to uh, loosen up your routines and habits um, and your ways of doing things. So if you've had the same goals and the same strategies and the same plans, it might be time to explore how can you change things up. So maybe you have been carrying the same goal, but then you come to this place of realizing this goal isn't for me. So be open to starting a new goal uh, based on how you're feeling. So just giving yourself permission to still make plans, still set goals, but knowing that it's important to be flexible. It's important to be adaptable. It's important to not hold yourself back if something new is coming up for you. If you are curious about something new that you didn't consider and just being open to changing your mind um, and knowing that, you know, it's okay to change goals. It's okay to have a different strategy from the one that you've been doing for so many years. So if you suddenly have a new idea, an opportunity, um, a desire that comes up to the surface, it's important to tune into that curiosity because that's your soul communicating with you that it's wanting to grow in something. It's wanting to get curious and follow something that it's desiring. So it's important to pay attention to that. Also reminding yourself that as humans, it's natural for us to be changing and growing and evolving constantly. We're not meant to be staying one version of ourselves. We're not meant to be stagnant. We're meant to be growing. We're meant to be exposing ourselves to new things and for us to be evolving along our journey. So those moments when you feel unfulfilled, you feel trapped, you feel lost, confused, stagnant, these are all signs from your soul getting you to break free from those things so that you can start experiencing freedom and moving towards this change that is gonna help you. So have an open mind and start trying new things. It might be booking that trip um, to Italy that you've always wanted. It might be picking up that book that you've seen in a bookshop that you're really, really curious about and it caught your eye. It might be setting up that food truck business that you've always wanted. It might be asking that person that you've had a crush on for so many years now. It might be going for that job that has really caught your eye. It might be joining that sports class but you're really scared that you might fail just doing things that are a little bit different and perhaps it might even be you know working through internal fears about moving to a different country perhaps you know so it's really about allowing yourself to embrace the internal changes that you're making with yourself and the external changes that are happening in your outside world both of these changes are necessary for your growth, transformation and evolution along your journey. So we have come to the end of this video. I hope this video did give you guidance, hope, inspiration to help you along your journey as you're seeing angel number 555. I would love to hear your experience with this energy number. So feel free to leave a comment below. And thank you so much for being present with me. Whenever you are feeling stuck, whenever you're needing more guidance, just call upon your angels and they are ready to help you. Remember, you have a whole team of angels looking out for you and encouraging you and supporting you and guiding you always. Thank you so much once again for being present and I will see you in the next video. Take care.